Hello and welcome back. This is a what if video where I tell you how the story of Hunter Hunter would be different if Gon was raised in Meteor City. This is going to finish the Greed Island arc, so I hope you enjoy. Also, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Who do you think would win in a fight, Hisoka or Razor? Feel free to answer in the comments below and I'll get the video started. With Gon, Killua, and Bisky now a part of a three-team group, they continue their search for the last few cards. They know that the teams they're working with have at least two of the cards they need, and one card is part of an in-game event that takes place only after someone collects 99 unique cards. They also assume with all the cards the bombers have stolen that they have at least one of the missing cards. With this knowledge, they decide that once they find the last card not owned by anyone, they will go after the bombers. Then, when the bombers are taken out, the other team will give Gon the rest of the cards he needs. So, as the three teams look for the Plot of Beast card, they trigger the event to challenge Razor and his pirates. Due to them being stronger than they were in the anime, Razor wastes little time before changing the challenge to the dodgeball game. He does warn them to get a few more strong players, because with their current team they would definitely lose. So, with this, Gon and Bisky find the strongest players they can, offering them in-game money and other rare cards they have a few extra copies of. Also, since Krolo never lost his Nin in the York New Art, Hisoka isn't on the island to help the troop, so unfortunately, Hisoka won't be around to help them. But, in their quest for a strong player, they find a player named Ginthru, who offers the help for some extra cards. With this team, they take on Razor and his Nin clones in the coolest game of dodgeball I've ever seen. Much of the game is still the same, with most of the other players being fodder compared to Razor and the main contributors being Gon, Killua, Bisky, and Ginthru, who spend most of their time dodging, and Bisky is even forced to use her larger form to stand a chance against Razor and his powerful throws. But that is still not enough to win, so Gon is forced to use the same strategy he used in the anime, he asks Killua to hold the ball while he uses Jun Jun Ken, but with the extra power he has after all the extra training, Razor is unable to block it without using most of his aura and is pushed out of bounds. Unfortunately, Razor calls back and has one more chance and the ball in his court. Razor blasts the ball at Gon, feeling he's the only one to worry about, and as it flies to him, Bisky sacrifices herself so Gon isn't eliminated. So, with the ball back in Gon's hands, he has one last chance to eliminate Razor and win. So, Gon charges up as long as he can and sends the ball rocketing towards Razor. In preparation for this, Razor releases all 14 of his Nin Devils, so he has full access to his aura, and when the ball comes, he is barely able to deflect it back at Gon who is too tired to move, and the ball is coming too fast for him to dodge. Killua pushes Gon out of the way, most likely saving Gon's life, as the ball heads towards Ginthru. Ginthru panics, knowing he can't dodge or catch the ball, so he is forced to save himself with an explosion from his hands, knocking the ball to the ground without it touching him. This gives Gon teams the final elimination they need and access to the Plot of Beach card. As the team celebrates, Razor compliments Gon on growing stronger and tells him he's ready to meet his father again. Razor explains how the game is actually on an island in the real world and that if he wins the game, he can bring three cards with him outside the game world. So, if he uses an accompany card, he would be able to transport to Gein's location. Gon is excited and thanks Razor for telling him what he could and for helping him get stronger before meeting Gein. After this, they all leave to go retrieve the Plot of Beach card, but when they go to get the card, it's already been accepted by someone else. They find out that Ginthru has already left and taken the cards for himself. As this happens, several members of the team helping Gon explode and are instantly killed. What the hell's going on, Killua calls out, as Gon stands speechless. Bisky is the first to answer. Ginthru must be the bomber. What? Killua says. Think about it, we made a public call for strong people, and he just accepts. Then the team that's been hunting the bomber explodes after our card is stolen. Also, I was a bit suspicious when Ginthru used that explosive Nin ability, and I guess I should have trusted my instincts, Bisky says. Gon is shaking with anger, and says he's gonna pay for this, that coward could have fought us for our cards, but he has to hide and sneak around like this. Now we know who he is, and we can find him with an accompany card, and when we do find him, I'm gonna kill him. 
just like he did to all these innocent people. Bisky and Kilawa agree, saying at the very least, they have most of the cards we need, so we have to get them back. Bisky helps Gon and Kilawa come up with a plan over the next few days so they can get one-on-one -on -one fights. So, when the time comes, they all use a company to teleport to Ginthru and his accomplices. Ginthru is surprised that they are willing to fight one-on-one -on -one and agrees, especially since Gon called him out and he believes he can easily defeat a kid. So, they all go their separate ways and start their battles. Gon rushes Ginthru, who is surprised by Gon's speed, but is still able to keep up with them as they trade blows back and forth. Gon is careful not to let Ginthru grab him and use his little flower explosion. As they go back and forth, Ginthru is beginning to worry, noticing he doesn't have as much an advantage as he thought, and the look in Gon's eyes is putting him on edge. Ginthru is getting desperate and tries lunging at Gon with both hands, but Gon quickly hops back out of range and powers up Jun Jun Kin. Ginthru tries to quickly get back to his feet, knowing how strong this move is after seeing it in the dodgeball game. But, Gon still lands a strong punch to Ginthru's face. Unfortunately, he couldn't charge it long enough to end the fight, but it still does significant damage. Ginthru flies back, only able to stay conscious because he focused all his nin into protecting himself. Ginthru tries running away, fearing for his life, but Gon keeps coming after him. Ginthru tries begging for his life and offering all his cars in exchange for being let go, but Gon isn't listening. Gon begins to charge up another Jun Junkin attack to Ginthru's horror, and as Gon was about to finish him off, Ginthru passes out and falls to the floor. Gon laughs. How pathetic is this guy? Gon stops his attack and goes to collect Ginthru's cards, thinking at least him being in jail will be a better punishment than just dying. But as he gets closer, Ginthru leaps forward and grabs Gon's left arm, blowing it up with his little flower bomb, heavily damaging it. Gon yells out in pain from the unexpected attack, but quickly goes back to his fighting stance. But now, unable to fully use his arm, Gon is at a disadvantage. Ginthru, now as cocky as ever, starts slowly picking Gon apart, laughing along the way. You're too soft, kid. You don't have the stomach to beat me. I don't care what people think of me. All I care about is winning, he says as he continues his assault. Ginthru readies another explosion and rushes at Gon, but... Gon, even more disgusted by Ginthru's lack of a moral code, focuses his rage and dodges the attack, then kicks his enemy to the ground and begins charging his Jun Jun Kin again. Ginthru tries crawling away, but Gon shoots his paper nin attack at Ginthru, stopping him from getting away. Again, Ginthru tries begging for his life, but Gon ignores him and uses scissors to finally finish Ginthru off. A little while later, Bisky and Kilwa meet back up with an injured Gon and quickly use one of their cards to heal Gon. After he's better, they gather all the bomber's cards with theirs and reveal they have all 99 needed for the final event. A message is sent to every player along with a quiz on all the cards in the game. Whoever scores the highest will receive the last card. Lucky for Gon, Kilwa is able to win with a perfect score, thus completing Greed Island. Gon and Kilwa celebrate with Bisky before saying farewell. Bisky tells them to say hi to Ging as Gon and Kilawa use a company to go to who they think is Ging. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you come back next Saturday for the start of the Chimera Antarctic. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later.